In my last video, I went over Joe from Craftsmaster Journey's phase four strategy. Both strategies did not, or both versions of the strategy, his version and my version did not perform very well. All right, we both lost uh, some money. Uh, Joe ended with a $370, $371 bankroll out of 500. I ended up with a $325 bankroll out of 500. But today we're gonna do it out again, all right, part two. And uh, let's see if the dice treat us a little better this time. So we'll hop into the intro, we'll hop over to the table, and we'll roll it out. What is up, everyone? Chris the Dice DJ here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're new, or if you've been here before, welcome back. All right, uh, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications, drop a like on the video, drop a comment. If you don't like my video, double tap that dislike button. All right, and um, what we're gonna be doing today is another rollout of um, Joe from Craftsmaster Journey and his phase four strategy. So I rolled it out already. Uh, that video is live. I'll put a card to it up above, all right? And uh, Joe's channel will be linked down below. If you haven't checked out his channel yet, do go check it out. Uh, consider subscribing to his channel. And uh, on his channel, you can see how he went through each phase, how he came up with this, and how he progressed through with his whole thought process, all right? So I'm not gonna explain out how each strategy works again. All right, again, the first video that I made will explain it. You can see how it plays out a little bit. Also, you can go to Joe's channel and check out the video where he explains it in detail. All right, I will link both of those down below. So um, we're just gonna hop right into this. All right, we have two $500 bankrolls here and uh, let's see what happens. All right, so uh, as in the first video, I was on the right-hand side and on the back, Joe on my left and up in the front. All right, so we're gonna get set up here with our don't pass bets and our lay bets. All right, and um, I'm going to show out the lay bets for the first time here. And then after that, I'm going to stack them over here like I did. So I don't have to worry about putting them out um, and save me some time. All right. Uh, so I'll show them out this time. Though. The VIG is over here. All right. I will take from it um, if needed. Runaway chip. So this will be Joe's VIG. Here's his lay bets. All right. And uh, here we go. Coming out, looking for a point. There we go, dice are out. And we have a four, three, seven. All right, so we are gonna lose our don't pass, all right? But that's why we have these lay bets. So we're both gonna lose our vigs because we're getting paid on the don't pass, or uh, on the lay bets, all right? So we're both gonna win $60 on our lays, all right? So that's there, and this is actually gonna turn into our next don't pass, all right? We're gonna leave our lay bets there, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color up 10 bucks from each of us, all right, and get some more whites here. All right, so more white going into his rack, more into mine, 10 bucks coming out here. All right, we both need $4 for those lay bigs. All right, so there, my lay, vig, his lay, vig. All right, here we go. Same shooter, still looking for a new point. And we have a four, two, six. That will be our point. All right, so the lay bets are gonna be returned to us. All right, uh, so Joe is gonna drop $55. All right. And get set up with 15 in the field, 6 and 8 for 18 each. That's 51. The $4 is going to be on the hop fives. All right, so that's 55 from him. For me, I'm going to drop 50. All right, I'm going to grab a bunch of reds here. All right, placing the 8, getting in the field here. All right, and I'm going to be placing the 5 for 15. And uh, that $5 there, we need some whites. We need a cap for the eight. $2 back to my rack, all right? Uh, let me clean these up here. Grab some more white chips. All right, so 
this is one of the differences. All right, he's going to hop the fives, and he's on the point. I am not dealing with the point at all, and I'm just going to straight place the five. All right, here we go. Dice are out. And we have a 4-1-5. All righty here. So what happens? We're both going to lose our field bets. All right. One of these hops is going to come down. I'm going to get paid 21 here. All right. Joe is going to get paid 30 for that hop bet. All right. So with my 21, I need to get back in the field. Six bucks going back to my rack. For Joe, I'm going to make this in reds. All right. That gives him his hit. He's placing the five and the nine. Two dollars back to his rack. All right. So I still need a hit in the field to spread. Joe's here looking for three hits. All right. Here we go. Dice are out. And we have a four, two, six. All right. Crushing right off the start. So uh, that's the point hit. Puck comes off. I'm going to lose in the field. Our don't pass bets come down. All right. Joe is going to get paid 21 here. So that would be his first hit technically. All right. So he's going to put that in front of his rack. We both need to come with $100 on the don't pass. All right. And our lay bets are back out and active. Here we go. Dice are out. Looking for a new point. And we have a 5-4 center field 9. All right. That would be our new point. Lay bets go back into our racks. All right. Um, so I'm going to move my 5 over to the 6. Drop the dealer $3. And I still need to be in that field. All right. Joe's set up. He's got one hit. He's looking for two more. Here we go. Uh, actually, also, I need hot fives now for $4. So I'm covered. Here we go. Dice are out. And we have a 516. All right. So that's hit number two for Joe. And 21. All right. My field bet's going to lose. My hot bets are going to lose. That's $19. 15 and 4 is 19. I'm going to get paid 21 here. I'm going to leave everything where it is and just pay myself two bucks. Here we go. Dice are out. And we got a 6-5, yo. All right, so my hops are coming down. All right, I'm going to get paid in the field here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the 5 and the 10 now because I'm hugging the point. All right, Joe needs one more hit on the inside. I'm looking to press up to 85 inside effectively because I'm not dealing with the point. And there's a 6-4-10. All right, so that's going to pay me 27. All right. I'm going to pay it out in reds for this reason. Pressing the five, I'm going to press my six, and I'm going to press my eight. All right, $10 back to my rack. Here we go. Dice are out. And there's an ace, deuce, three cracks. Doesn't matter for either one of us. Here we go. Dice are out. And we have a three, two, five. Three, two. All right, so that's going to pay 21 for Joe. All right, that's his third hit. Now we're going to put this in the rack here, and he's looking to press on sister numbers to go up to 110 inside. All right, I have $20 on my five. That's going to pay me 28. There's 25, 28. All right, and again, I'm pressing my insides here. One unit, racking this eleven dollars here. All right, and now my bets look like twenty-five, thirty, thirty. All right, so I got to that eighty-five uh, inside without the point, obviously that I was looking for. So I'm going to clean this up here. All right, so now I'm looking for one hit here, and I'm going to regress down. Now Joe's going to start pressing his uh, sister numbers to get up to 110 inside. And we've got a hard four. doesn't matter for either one of us. And there's a 6-3-9. Oh, boy. All right, so that's the point hit. All right. We're going to lose our don't passes here. All right. Um, Joe's going to get paid 21 here for that inside. So he's going to press his nine and his five, rack the 11. All right. Now, that's 100. Now we're going to 150 on our um, 
don't pass bet here, all right? And this is pretty much the make or break shot, all right? If uh, we get hit off the don't pass here, we're pretty much done. We don't have money to recover. We're going to hit the stop law, and we're going to be out of this, all right? Uh, that was $50, so I can color that up. And um, our lay bets are going back out. And our place bets are off. Here we go. Dice are out. And we got a hard 10. So that's both good and not so good. All right. 10 is a good number to be on the don't pass against, kind of. Uh, but we are going to lose money in here. All right. So we're going to lose 60 plus the $2. All right. So each of us is losing that. The rest of this is going to go back to our racks. All right, the racks are looking pretty bare right now, I'll tell you that. All right, um, so 10's the point, all right. I'm gonna move my uh, bet to the nine here. All right, I know I have a $15 nine, but I'm gonna leave it where it is. I'm looking for one hit in here, and then I'm gonna go to 96 across. Here we go, dice are out. And we have a three, two, five, perfect. All right, so. Joe has 20, which is going to pay him 28. All right. And he's pressing the sisters. So he's going to take his five and nine to a quarter each. All right. And he's going to rack the rest of this. I'll move these over here. All right. Now for me, I have 25. I'm going to get paid 30 on that. All right. And now I'm going to regress to 96 across. So uh, I'm going to drop the dealer with 100 here. I'm going to put this in my rack. It's actually going to be, um, what is it? It's 81 across because I'm not touching the point. So it's instead of 96, going to be 81, all right, which is going to result in 19 change. So that's 20 for one, all right, change wise. And we'll get this set up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be pressing sister numbers with the winnings and collecting the rest. All right. So that's all set up now. And um, here we go. Dice are out. And we got an ace, deuce, three cracks. Doesn't matter for either one of us. And there's a six, three center field nine. All right. So my nine is going to pay 21. All right. I'm going to take 10, press my 5 and my 9, rack the 11. All right. Joe's getting paid um, 35 here. I'm going to pay out in reds. That's 25 and 35. All right. So he's looking to take his 6 and 8 up 12 bucks each. All right. So here's 25 bucks, 10 bucks going back to the rack. All right. And now what he's actually going to do um, – so this will result in a dollar change here because i got to change this out for uh, whites because it's going to go to, uh, sorry, 25. No, we were right. We were right. Sorry. Math not working. All right. Dollar change here. So now his bets look like 110 inside. All right. So he's going to 110 inside. That's what that looks like there. I'm going to change this out. Sorry, that wasn't the cleanest dealing you've ever seen. That's pretty pathetic, actually. All right, so that's 110 inside. And now he's got that. That's the end of phase three for Joe. All right, so he's going to rack this 10 bucks, and he's going to go 96 across. All right, so there's uh, 100. There's four change. That would be going back to him. And now we're going 96 across. So as you can see, I mean, I didn't change much in these strategies. And here's a longer roll that allowed us both to actually get out on these bets here. So uh, we'll see what happened. We did get knocked quite a bit on the, uh, the don't pass there. So um, see what happens. Here we go. Dice are out. We got aces. Aces in both places. Doesn't matter for either one of us. And there's a midnight back-to-back -back horns. And there's a 437. All right. So, puck's going to come off. Um, that's actually 
It's not great for us. We could have taken a few more hits inside, but much better than hitting that 10. Because if we would have hit that 10, we would have been done. All right, but we aren't done quite yet. All right, I'm going to put these behind for now. All right, so we're both going to get paid 150 on our don't pass. All right, and now we're going down to the $50 level. All right, so mine's going back. And his is going back. All right, now we do need more money here for our lay bets with the Vigs. All right, and Joe will need the same here. All right, these lay bets are up. Uh, we're coming out. We're looking for a point. All right, let's grab some new dice. We have a new shooter here. And uh, let's see what happens. Here we go. Dice are out. And that's a 6 3 center field nine. All right, that's our new point. All right. And uh, our lay bets are going to go back in our racks here. Um, so Joe's going to drop 55. 15 in the field, 6 8. And uh, he'll be hopping the fives in a minute here when I can get that set up. All right. And uh, I will be doing the exact same thing, actually. That's why I say the strategies aren't terribly different. It's too much. Chips are everywhere today. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we're set up. Both of us are set up here. All right, here we go. Dice are out. And there's a 516. All right, so um, I did it for myself before. I'm going to do it again for both of us here. All right, 15 in the field plus the $4 hopping adds up to 19. We're going to win 21 on that six. We're both going to get two bucks net. All right, so I don't have to take everything down. $2 net pay. Here we go. And there's a 325. All right, so. We're going to lose our field bets, right? But, and we're going to lose one of the hops. We're both going to get paid 30 for these hop bets. All right. So the $2 is going to go back to our rack. All right. And I'm going to take these quarters here and give us reds. All right. So now Joe's going on the five and the nine. All right. I'm going to be placing the five and the ten. All right, I'm looking to press my inside. Joe's looking to collect three times. Here we go. Dice are out. And we're not going to do anything because we've got a 617. All right, we're both going to get paid on the don't pass here. It's going to his rack. It's going to my rack. All right. And uh, we've got a new shooter here coming out. So my lays are going up. Joe's lays are going up. And um, here we go. Dice are out. Looking for a new point. And we've got a 627. All right. So we're going to come down on our don't pass bets. We are both going to get paid $60 for these lays minus the vigs here. All right. So the vigs are going to come back. And this $60 is actually going to be what our next level on the don't pass is. So I'm going to take four more dollars here for that vig and four more dollars for this vig. And uh, here we go. We're set up. Dice are out. And wow, back to back sevens. All right. So uh, we're going to lose this 60. All right. But we're going to get paid 60 again for these lays. All right. But this time we're going up to $100 on don't pass. All right, we're still leaving the same value on the lays. All right, so 100 there, or sorry, $4 there, $4 here. Here we go, dice are out. And there's a 426. All right, so we're at a pretty high don't pass there, especially for a $500 bank where you got a fifth of your bank on the don't pass. All right, so uh, clenching time, clenching time. All right, so Joe's dropping 55. All right, 15 in the field. Six and eight will look like 18 each. Four dollars hopping fives, all right. And for me, um, 
I'm going to drop 50 again. All right, 15 in the field. Eight. $3 cap and $2 going back to my rack. This will all get cleaned up. And here we go. Ice are out. And we got a 6-5 yo. All right, so that's good for both of us. We both get paid in the field there. All right, so one to one, one to one. All right, so Joe's going to place the five and the nine. Okay, I'm going to be placing the nine. And at this point, I can pick do I want the nine, do I want the, or the four, the ten. Uh, I'm going to take the ten. All right, and uh, here we go. Dice are out. And we got another six five yo back to back. Joe's looking for three hits inside to collect. I'm looking to. Uh, get the hits and press right away. And there's a 10. A hard 10. All right. So my 10 is going to pay me 27. All right. And I'm going to pay it out like this because we're pressing the nine. We're pressing the five. We're going to take our eight up a unit. All right. And the rest of this is going back to my rack here. All right. Here we go. Dice are out. And we got a 617. 617. Can't seem to get out of the gate, really, with some of these. Did it once, but um, didn't work too well. The major advantage with the way that I'm playing it is if we can get these inside hits uh, relatively quickly, we're out of the roll, and we're going to be profiting um, a little bit quicker and at a higher pay scale than the original. Um, but you need to actually get there first. All right? So try and... Um, so now we're going to go back down to 50 on our don't passes. Our lay bets are coming back. All right. We got a new shooter here coming out. How long has this been going on for? Uh, 20 something minutes. All right. That's not too bad. Try not to make the video super, super long. All right. That's why I broke this down into two videos from the start. Anyway, uh, we got a four, two, six. That'll be our new point. All right. Lay bets go back to the rack. All right. By now, you know, Joe's dropping 55. All right, that takes care of his. And I'm going to be dropping 50. Fifteen in the field. Eighteen on the five. Three dollar cap. Two dollars change back to me. All right. And here we go. Dice are out. And we got a three one four. That's a big Joe. Crap semester journey. This is his strategy. All right, so we're getting paid in the field. Joe's hops come down. All right, he's going to place the five and the nine. All right, I'm placing the nine, and I was on the 10 last time. And uh, so I'll stay on the 10. Let's stay on the 10. All right, here we go. Dice are out. And we got a three, two, five. So it's going to pay Joe 21. All right. I am going to put this in front. That's his first hit. He's looking for two more. All right. I'm also getting paid 21. All right. But by now, you know, I'm pressing right away. All right. So I got 20 on the five and nine and 24. Nickel back to my rack here. And here we go. Dice are out. And we got another three, two, five. So that's going to pay Joe another 21. He's just racking this. All right, he's looking for that $55 profit. That's why I'm putting him in the front so we can count them. All right, uh, I'm getting paid 28 here. So what I'm going to do is pay it out like this. All right, we're going to make this look like 25. All right, this is going to go to 25. And this will go to 30. All right, so $12 back to my rack. All right. And uh, I'm going to clean this up like the dealers would. All right, there's 25 and 30. So 25 and we'll make this 30. All right, this is going to come back to me in the bank here. All right, and now Joe needs one more hit. And then he's going to start pressing. I need one more hit and I'm going 96 across. All right, here we go. Dice are out. And we got a 6-5 yo. Doesn't matter for either one of us. Aces. Wow, these horns. Hitting a horn and then it's repeating right away. 
and there's a 10, a hard 10, all right? So uh, that 10 is gonna pay me 27, all right? I'm gonna just rack this right now because I am not going all the way across yet. I need to hit an inside number for me to go across, all right? So that's just getting racked. And there's an ace deuce, three craps. It's a leaner, but it's an ace deuce. All right, here we go. Dice are out. And there's another hard 10. It's going to pay me another 27. All right. Collecting this one again. At this point, if you wanted, I could go 96 across, but I'm going to leave this here for right now because I'm really trying to get that one hit on the inside um, to be able to collect the 35 and then go across. And we've got a hard eight. All right, hard eight. So that's hit number three for Joe. All right. So now that we have three hits, all right, he's going to mark this or rack this, sorry. I'm just put that there for right now. All right, now he's looking to press sister numbers. I'm getting paid 35 here. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the dealer. I already have this place, but I'm going to take it back. All right, I'm going to ask the dealer for 78 inside or 78 across. So here's 75. All right, this is coming back to my rack. I'm going to drop the $3, all right, 78 across. So everything not including the point, all right. Now I'm going to need some more red chips here. All right, here we go. Dice are out. And we got a hard four. Hard four, knocking over my don't pass. All right, so I'm going to get paid 27 here. I'm going to pay it out in reds and um, white because I'm going to be pressing my sister numbers here, racking the rest. All right, here we go. Dice are out. And we got a 415. All right, so 415 is going to pay Joe 21. All right, he's going to press his five and his nine to 20, rack the rest. All right, um, I need some more red chips here. Uh, my five is 15, it's gonna pay me 21 as well. All right, and I will also be pressing sister numbers at the five and the nine, all right? Racking the rest. Here we go, dice are out. And we got a hard six, hard six. All right, so that is the point hit. All right, we're gonna get knocked off our don't pass bets here. Joe's going to get paid uh, 21 here. All right. What he's going to do is he's going to take 10 bucks back to his rack. All right. He's going to drop a dollar and he's going to press the six and the eight inside. All right. Now these are off on the come out. All right. We both need to replace our don't passes for $60 now. All right. And our lay bets are coming back at us. All right, here we go. Thanks are out. We got a 415. That'll be our new point. All right, point is five. He's come back to the rack. All right. Now, Joe's set up, not changing anything. He needs two more hits. All right. One hit on the five and nine, one hit on the six and the eight. All right. My five, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the dealer to move it to the six and I'm going to drop $4 to make it proper. All right. And I'm set up, ready to go. Here we go. Thanks are out. And there's a six four ten 10 down on the end. All right, so um, I guess technically these would be buy bets at most casinos. All right, so I'm just going to move them down here. So uh, 20 is going to pay me 40. All right, I'm going to pay it like this, and that's going to cost me a dollar in vague. All right, I'm going to add a nickel here and add a nickel here, rack the rest. All right, so these are both at the $25 level. All right. If your casino isn't a $20 buy, now at the $25 level, it's definitely a buy. All right. Here we go. Dice are out. And we have aces. Sorry, that was aces. Aces in both places. A 314. Big Joe. 314. All right. So 25 is going to pay me 50 for one. All right. And uh, I'm going to rack this. 
and uh, I'll make my four and 10 look like 30. All right, here we go, dice are out. We got midnight, doesn't matter for either one of us. And there's a three, two, five. All right, so we're gonna get the point here. All right, our don't passes are gonna come down. All right, Joe is gonna get paid $28 here. All right, which will lead to him pressing the five and the nine, which now look like a quarter. All right, so he's one hit away from 110 inside. He's racking the rest here. And um, I'm just gonna start stacking these in front because I'm running out of room in the rail. All right, uh, we both need to come with $100 on the don't pass. This point, you know, you might consider just not even betting the don't pass, um, but that's what the strategy calls for. Our lay bets are also coming back out. All right. And uh, here we go. Um, dice are out. And we got a three, two, five. We're right back on that five. All right. So uh, lay bets go back. All right. We're set up. Joe's looking for one more hit here. Uh, I'm where I need to be, and I'm just pressing and collecting as I go. And there's a 6-5, yo. Doesn't matter for either one of us. And wow, 4-1-5. All right, so we're going to get hit on the don't pass again, which means we need to go up to 150. Joe's getting paid 35 here. All right, so when he gets paid 35 here, what he's going to do is this would look like 110 with a – $12 press, so six on this, six on that. Would look like, um, would look like 110 inside. All right, so what we're going to do is he's going to take this back to his rack, all right, all of this. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the greens back, and uh, I'm going to count out 96 across from his rack because he has the chips to do so. All right, and now usually you'd be waiting for the point uh, to be established again before you do this, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway right now. All right, these bets are off. My bets are off. Um, we do need a $150 don't pass. So there's 125 and a 25, $150, all right? So that's going out for Joe, for me. I have it to bet it. All right. And um, here we go with the lay bets again. And here we go coming out. And wow, another five, three, two, five. All right. This shooter loves the fives. I'm hoping he doesn't hit another five, but you know, <laughs> see what happens. Here we go. Dice are out. And we got an ace, deuce, three craps. He's got a lot of fives and a lot of horn numbers for this shooter. Oh my goodness. All right. There is a three, two, five. Um, so we're both going to get sniped off the don't pass here. All right. But Joe's going to get paid 21 here. What I'm going to do is since we don't have more money to go back on the don't pass ladder, I'm going to rack all of this up here. All right. And count it. I know that the roll isn't over. All right. But, um, for the sake of the video, timing wise and stuff, uh, I'm going to just rack this all up here. A brutal scene right there with all those points being hit. Um, when you're on the don't pass, of course. When you're on the pass line, you love it. All right, so there's 100. Oh, let me grab these out. I'm gonna change these whites for a uh, for two red or for four reds. All right. So 200. This will be 300. This is 400. 450. 451 for me. All right. That's after getting sniped off a $50 don't pass, a $60 don't pass, a $100 don't pass, and a $150 don't pass. 
All right, so um, 451 there, all right, after losing 50, and another 60 is 110, plus another 100 is 210, plus another 150 is 360. 360 bucks sniped off the don't pass, all right? And we're only down 49 bucks. So that's not too bad at all, all right? Um, obviously, it's not great because we're down, but um, after getting sniped all those times, um, I'll, I'll actually be pretty happy with that. That's why um, I like the version of mine with uh, the pressing and stuff earlier. Um, obviously, it didn't work as well in the first one. Um, it didn't really work here either. It did lose, technically. But um, with all those um, getting sniped off the points there, you know, can't be too mad, I guess. It's four. All right, so this is five here. All right, so that's a green. And this is two reds here. All right, so. Um, got 100. That would be 200, 300, 375, 380, 384. All right, so um, in this version, my uh, variations did a little bit better, all right? Um, again, both strategies ended up losing, but we did get sniped off that don't pass four times in, in a row. Sorry about that. Adding up to uh, 360 bucks. So if we only got sniped, we've been a little better there. But, you know, it happens. It's gambling, all right? So uh, that's the second rollout, part two of uh, Joe from Craps Master Journeys. Uh, phase four strategy. All right. Again, his information will be down below. Go check out his channel. Uh, you're already at my channel. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, um, if you would, please hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on for notifications so you don't miss anything from me. Uh, like the video, drop a comment, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace.